Welcome, in this video I'm taking a look at this 80 watt soldering iron with digital LCD controls. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful, I'll put a link to this in the description on Amazon, and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So my previous soldering iron in this form factor just had a plug on the end and had no temperature controls on it or anything. It didn't have replaceable tips. It did kind of, but I don't know where you could get them. So this has a lot of the features of a larger soldering iron in a smaller package. So we have a contact card here, and here we have a soldering iron stand, and we have a little sponge. You could wet that down. And then we have different tips here. So right now we have a kind of a pointed tip, and here we have, I don't know the names of these, let me get these out, they're kind of hard to see in the package. So this has kind of a knife edge. This is like a cylinder that has just kind of a cut on it, so it's kind of sharp. This is, uh, looks like a little kind of a chisel tip. I think this is the same as what's on there, and this is just a sharper tip. So I tend to like this tip for a lot of things. So I'll actually swap that out. So I'll unscrew this here. Take the tip off. So this is ceramic, and this can be fragile. So just try not to shock it too much. You know, don't slap it against anything. I say fragile, I mean, it could be brittle. So it could crack if you dropped it. So just take care of it. Okay, so I'll remove the twisty tie here. I'll plug this in. So the cord seems about four foot. Okay, so it has power. So here we can adjust the temperature on it. So we're at 360 degrees Celsius. See if I hold it down. Okay, it moves quickly if I hold it down, so that's nice. See how far down it goes? There's a little bit of a protective film on here. Let me try and remove that. There we go. So these little buttons here are kind of rubberized, and this is a rubberized grip here. So you can hold it like so. Let me hold this down, see how far down we can go. So it looks like the lowest is 180 degrees C. So that's 356 degrees Fahrenheit. Now hit plus and we'll go up as high as it'll go. So the high temperature is 480 degrees Celsius. So that would be 896 degrees Fahrenheit. So this takes eight to 15 seconds to heat up to operating temperature. And it does have memory on it. So let me turn this down. So say we like 312 degrees Celsius. I'll turn off my power supply here. I'll turn it back on and it goes back to the same temperature you left it at. So that's a handy feature. If you had to reset this every time, it could be kind of a nuisance. So I'll put that in the stand there. So there is no switch on here to turn it off. You do need to unplug it or hit a switch on a power supply or something. So I'll turn it off now. So I'm going to gather some supplies so I can test soldering something with this. If you notice down here below, there's a solder joint here, and that's the first one I did when I thought I was recording, but now I am recording. So I have this set to 330 degrees Celsius. I've tinned the tip, so I took some solder, melted it on here, and then cleaned it on the sponge. So you can see it's shiny, and I'm using a lead-based solder here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the soldering iron under these wires here. And this is a little tricky because I have a camera between me and the soldering iron, so hopefully this turns out again the second time. But I'll put it down here and I'll melt a little blob of solder on the soldering iron. That'll help transmit the heat to the wire. And then I'll kind of go on the opposite side of the wire. And I want the wire to actually melt the solder. You can see it's melting it now. So I'll kind of move this back and forth. There we go. So that should be a pretty good solder joint. You don't want to pour water on that or anything. Just let it cool naturally. Then I can use the sponge here to clean off my tip. There we go. And now we have a nice solder joint. So I think this is a handy little soldering iron. I have a soldering station, but if I want to solder something in my car, it's a pain to drag that whole thing out there. I have a trigger, like a gun style soldering iron, and it doesn't have much control. It'll just get really hot and then turn off. It's nice having a more precision soldering iron that has a temperature control on it. So this does kind of what you can get out of a soldering station, but in a smaller package. So this takes up a lot less room, but still gives you the versatility of a larger station. So I think this could be a good beginner soldering iron if you're just getting into soldering, because it does have the temperature control. Control. It does come with the different tips. Now you do need to get solder with this. It doesn't 
doesn't come with solder. But generally, most people want to get their own solder anyway for the application they're using. But I also think this could be good for a second soldering iron like myself, where you have some larger soldering irons or different soldering irons where this has certain features on it that make it more useful than those. So here's a view of the soldering iron with the thermal camera. I have this set to 330 degrees Celsius right now. This isn't always accurate at measuring these temperatures like this because the tip of this is metal and kind of shiny. So we can see the part where you hold, probably the warmest part where you hold, is 26 degrees Celsius. And if we go just beyond that, we get up into where it gets hot starts to get hot, so that's around 70 degrees Celsius, and here this says like 20 degrees Celsius, and here it starts to get hotter. So that's at about 100 degrees, 80, 100, we get up to the tip. So that was showing around 250. So like I said, it's not very accurate to measure this due to the reflectivity. But the main thing to see here is that the handle is cool to touch. So that's the 80 watt soldering iron kit with digital temperature control. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.